I was told the month before I retired, age 70, that I'd got IPF. And my son had said to me, oh, well, Mum, when you get the results, as long as it's not IPF, and of course it was IPF. I mean, it was just total disbelief. It's incurable, it's progressive. Very few people have it and little is known about it. If you look online, the prognosis is very poor, but I'm not having any of that. I'm here for the duration, so, you know. <laughs> so I do lots of things to help me holistically. I do mindfulness. Previously, I'd done a cognitive behavioral therapy course. Usually we work very much in the active side of our mind. And when you do mindfulness, you're trying to get in touch more with the being side of your mind, concentrating on your breathing. The idea being that instead of feeling the pressures of modern day life, thinking, oh, I've got to do A, B, C and D, you take a break from that. And then when you come back to it, you've got a much more relaxed, realistic approach. And also, I, I undertook it to help me come to terms with the prognosis and diagnosis. I've always liked walking, and I always have walked fairly fast, almost speed walking, to be honest, for several years. To me, it's just very good for my lungs, because I walk fast, not just saunter along. I'm exercising my lungs to a good capacity. When I say to my relatives and friends that I go to this support group, they will say at some point, isn't that a bit morbid for you? And I say, no, not at all. The people are so uplifting, comforting, and I get so much from it. It's really humbling, actually. I pride myself on having lots and lots of resilience acquired from my mum, and um, that sort of gets me by and helps me no end. Be as positive as you possibly can be. Perseverance, you will have days when you're not feeling perhaps so good. Optimism. Hope. You know, there is a way forward. <laughs>